All right, welcome to Kindergarten Unit 4. My name is Jake Beers, Elementary Science Specialist here for Springdale Public Schools. We're going to kind of go through a little bit uh, of this unit, talk about you know, major concepts for kindergartners in this unit, and talk about some resources that are in the, the curriculum guides. So again, this, this unit is all about uh, interactions between plants and animals in their places they live, their environment. So how do the plants and animals meet their need in their environment where they live, and so, and even why does an animal live in that environment? Why does a dolphin live in the ocean compared to a deer living in a forest? So just these com simple conversations about our needs, which connects to the previous unit, and then how those needs are met by the environment. And so that's the, the, about half of the unit. The other half is how animals and humans can change their environment. And so looking at uh, things like beavers building dams, or uh, even something as simple as squirrels burying nuts in the, in the, in the ground, or plants growing up a wall. Just these connections between how uh, animals can change their environment. And then we go a little bit deeper into how humans uh, can have an impact on their environment. So we look at recycling, we look at the Lorax at the end of that, uh, that picture perfect unit. And so we're going to jump in and talk a little bit about this unit. And so we introduce habitats, so forest and the desert, a polar habitat, and the ocean. And so we kind of introduce these ideas of different habitats, and we look at the, you know, a little bit about what types of animals live there. And so we start by a sort where you give animals, I mean students are just a bunch of different animals, and they try and classify where these animals go, and they begin to identify that, oh man, like if it's, a, if it's got fins and flippers, it's going to live in the ocean, right? Um, or if it, has, uh, if it has fur, it's probably going to live in a polar or the forest region. And so just making connections between even even structures of animals, how they how they how they look, how they feel, uh, to the places that they live. Um, from there, we go into a, a shared research uh, a project um, that's about dolphins. Uh, it's just the model one's about dolphins, and then students do their own about a uh, about a simple animal. Um, we then go into how animals change their, their habitats, including humans. Uh, we read some of the book, The Little House. Uh, we read books like. As an oak tree grows, there's books uh, like Animals at Home. And then before that, we read that this book, Welcome Home Bear, to connect to the habitats. But again, we, then we look at how animals change their habitats. So beavers and then this book, Welcome uh, the Little House, are the two places we look at humans and animals changing their habitats. And there's one more new book called um, A View from Meadow Street. And it's a great book about how a girl actually you know, makes her, makes her uh, habitat better. She improves her habitat. And then we go into a picture-perfect unit called Be a Friend of Trees. We, read, we, we begin with a read aloud called Our Friend Steve. And then we move into sorting uh, things that come from trees and things that uh, are not. And so things like pine cones and sticks, things like wood or bark. And then we explore things that don't come from trees like rocks or plastic. And so students you know, explore these ideas of what resources we get from trees. How do we use our, our resources? What are the differences between plastic and things that come from trees? Uh, and just have the conversation about, you know, some things we built like this pencil are from both trees and metal or, or the earth. And so they start with a sort like that and they explore this idea of what trees give us and resources that we get from trees. We, t we talk about uh, different types of trees. They go out and find a tree and they do like a tree rub and a leaf rub. Explore this, this idea of what we can get from trees, how we depend on the, on the trees in our environment um, to get what we need. And then we end the unit with a unit called Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. And so in that unit, students are exploring this idea of trash. So we're looking at sorting materials and recyclables. We sort things into um, things that we can reuse or um, you know, we can recompost, re we can recycle. And so you look at trash, you sort trash, uh, you talk a little bit about uh, recycling and the importance of recycling. There's some great kid-friendly books. Uh, we talk about composting. Um, and then we read the Lorax, which is great because it kind of falls around uh, Earth Day, which is April 25th usually. Uh, and so we talk about the importance of protecting our environment, how we can do harmful or beneficial things to our environment. And then we end with kind of a pledge to be a recycling uh, superhero and talking about how we, you know, the choices we make uh, can, can impact our environment. So I hope your kindergartners enjoyed this lesson. It's fun to explore the connections between the places we live uh, and the resources we get from those and how we, as humans, can need to be protecting those environments. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, teaching Unit 4 and uh, look forward to wrap up the year.